I believe in giving. I also believe in generosity. In Ecclesiastes 11, verse 1, the Bible promises this. Be generous. Invest in acts of charity. That's a powerful word, invest, because it talks about the returns that you'll have coming. And then it goes on. It says charity yields high returns. If we can learn to develop a giving heart toward those in our own homes, our families, and our friends, and people in need, we'll be much more free to give ungrudgingly and at the Spirit's tempting, prompting to those most desperately in need. So often, your heartstrings will be pulled. You'll have a feeling that you want to help, you want to do more. And yet there is a human tendency to want to hold back, to, to, to hoard what you have. But God's word promises a reward for generosity, that generosity is an investment. So if we want to experience the fullness of God and God's blessings, we must be generous. Generous of our time, our talents, our encouragement, our possessions, even our finances. We must become a generous, giving person for God. And God will bless us in even more wonderful ways. You can't outgive God. But if we allow ourselves to become closed-fisted, and miserly, well, we deprive ourselves of spiritual abundance that could otherwise be ours. Do you seek God's promised abundance and peace? Then share with others the blessings that God has given to you. You'll find that when you do, even the many blessings you now have will be multiplied and so will your joy. May God bless you, and I pray that you learn the incredible investment of generosity 